There are many ways of occupying a city and Michael Simmons Roberts, in his superb, substantial and intricately varied seventh volume, reminds us it is a complicated business we live in cities imaginatively as well as actually. Sometimes, we are painfully adjacent, shallow-rooted, trying to take hold. This book offers only a notional portrait of the Manchester in which Simmons Roberts lives. It has become Mancunia, the city as it exists in his mind. This is his first collection since the masterly Dry Salter, which won the Forward Prize and Costa Poetry Award, and was, you might have reasonably supposed, an impossible act to follow. Yet with each reading of this volume, one sees more, as one's eyes adjust to the dark. For in many of these poems light is wanting in both senses of the phrase. Mancunian Misery is a good example of a poem about going against the city's grain and his own. He wishes to atone for a constancy of inattention, while the poem offers evidence of the contrary on a tormented walk down Cross Street, the city a version of his own body. I love the peculiar detail about the undersides of leaves prefiguring a storm, and the implication that if he knew to notice this, it would somehow help him. Simmons Roberts' writing runs as unhindered as the rain he describes. Yet, he registers the way in which he feels blocked prize my teeth apart oh God that I might learn to praise. Praise is so easy it can become difficult. Affirmation is never straightforward. Love Song on a Loop explores the idea that the expression of love is a devalued currency and so this song undoes itself, unwinding into gibberish. Nonetheless, it started true enough, I feel it, so help me. The stumbling block is that emphasizing the positive can seem inauthentic or impersonal. Master of Lighting Small Details Honoring a Mancunian Bureaucrat is a poem that could be taken as a riposte to Robert Frost's The Road Not Taken, The Road Not Taken resembling the love unspoken. We begin in a dark bar, with a raised glass to the way things airy and might have been, if I had just. And then an image strikes yet all those miles away some clutch off thistles catches midday sun with such rare glory that a traveller through that field may stop to take it in as though the glimpse of it was meant for him, and walk my path as it were his own. It is a charmed moment, but hastily shelved, the light put out. One of the wonderful things about Simmons Roberts is his way of pushing poems, and himself with them, in a direction you were not expecting. He constantly reconstitutes the world. In the marvelous tightrope song, Simmons Roberts tells of a dazzling gymnast from the rope's point of view. Similarly, a poem about a wall encourages us to consider the entire wall and not merely our half of it. In a brilliant, unnerving poem entitled The Future of Books, Simmons Roberts envisions literature reprocessed our slice has its own distinctive shade and scent, paper musk, the dark behind bookshelves, but it so mystifies our future selves he fry it like black pudding, a salt and bitter juice of atlas, sonnet, gossip, scripture. Simmons Roberts scoops up that remained it dark in handfuls. And possibly the best poem in the collection is in Paradisum, about Manchester's refugee children. Here, Simmons Roberts reminds us of how easy it is to see human extremity without seeing it, a moving feat in what is a first-rate collection. Mancunian misery as I walk west on cross. Street have mercy on me, O oh God, for the cold of my fingers, the clam of my palms, for the knots I have tied in my tongue and for their undoing, for my constancy of inattention, for my inattention and its ills, for the fact that the undersides of leaves my mother told me are blown visible before a storm but I forget to look, for the unlearned law that rain when it runs unhindered and a gutter will still trouble itself into opacity, for the city's rich, exotic, gifted, of my days that I have sacked, abandoned, given up for the price of a light, my hands cupped in case you try to blow it out, for thinking you would waste your breath on me, for fearing you may not, for the coignard I save for a deluge, for the wide berth I gave that man cocoon asleep on the steps of a new clothes bank where once I queued to find my balance, for the stars I thank, for the losses I adjust, for the cost have mercy, let the seas hold themselves, let the streets dry out and flood instead the cambers, ventricles, capillaries of me, prize my teeth apart oh god that I might learn to bar days, Mancunia is published by Jonathan Kate ten pounds. To order a copy for £8.50 go to guardianbookshop.com or call 0330-333-6846. Free UK PP over £10, online orders only. Phone orders min PP of £1.99.